Facility layouts represent a graphical view of the tables in a facility and are used for the dining reservations module. They can also be used as an event layout. Note that table types, used to specify the number of seats, and dining tables, used to specify available tables for that facility and indicate the table number, must already be created in order to create the facility layout. To create or edit a facility layout, navigate over to System Administration, System Setups, and Facility Layouts. Click the New button to create a new layout. Alternatively, you can select an existing layout to make changes to it. Within the General tab, you want to set the following fields. Description, so you can enter a name for your layout. And you want to assign a pre-created facility to this layout. Alternatively, you can use the Multiple Facilities option, which will enable the Facilities tab, where you can go ahead and flag any eligible facility for this layout. Event Layout. If flagged, the layout can be used in the Event Management module. And you want to make sure Active is flagged to ensure this is an active layout. To design the actual layout, go ahead and click the Edit Layout button. This will open the POS Table Layout Designer screen. The pane on the left side of the screen displays miscellaneous objects that are commonly available in a facility, such as bar, dance floor, and doors. At the bottom of the list, you'll find pre-created table types. The right side of the screen is an empty canvas for you to design the layout. To add to your layout, simply click and drag an object or a table from the left pane to your canvas. Once a table has been added, it must be assigned a unique table number. To do this, right-click on the table and select Settings. From here, use the Table drop-down to assign the table number. If a table number is not assigned, the program will not allow you to save the layout as an error message will be presented upon closing the layout, and the table must be deleted from the layout before it can be saved. In this screen, you can adjust the margin and rotate your table. By selecting a parameter on the right, a description of how it's used will be displayed in the lower right corner. Once you have made your adjustments, you can click the X to close out of the settings. You also have the ability to right-click on a table or object and duplicate. Just keep in mind that if you duplicate a table, you will need to assign a unique table number. You can continue adding tables and objects until the desired floor plan is complete. To remove a table or an object, right-click and select Remove Item. The left side of the screen also contains the function buttons, which you can add to the layout for easy navigation. These buttons allow you to change sales areas directly from facility layout, as well as jump from one facility to another, where you can specify the sales area slash facility in the settings. On the toolbar at the top of the screen, you also have the ability to set a custom background image by using the Set Background button on the toolbar, and the ability to remove that background by clicking Clear Background. Clicking the Remove All button will clear all tables and objects from the screen after prompting you for confirmation. Toggle Sidebar will switch between Tiles and Text on the left pane. The Print button will allow you to print the facility layout. Note that there is no Save button on this screen. So once you are satisfied with your layout, you can close the screen by clicking Close or the X in the far right hand corner. Just make sure you click Save from the main screen to save your work. Now that you've created your facility layout, you can assign it to a facility by navigating over to System Administration and Facilities. Select the facility and in the Dining Reservations tab, you can assign the facility via the Default Facility Layout drop-down. Again, if you've made any changes, just make sure you go ahead and save.